So we are going to discuss how to implement custom action in Rasa chatbot framework. So welcome to Vinod Suman Academy. And I would recommend, uh, please visit my previous video, what is chatbot and how to install the chatbot in the Windows machine and what are the important concept in the chatbot. So let us start our code, how to implement the action. Custom action. So let me go move the code. And I have already explained how to get the basic code from the VASA, how to use the VASA init command. So I would recommend please visit the previous video to get all those things. So what the purpose for this video, first we implement the normal response, then I convert the same response to the custom action. So then will be a good way to understanding this. So how to uh, create a new intent I'm going to talk. So suppose this is the NLU MD file. Come here and create one new intent, right? And this intent can be the other training data. Anything you can write. Uh, okay, first program, right? Anything. So now save it. Then go to the IIX discuss uh, in previous class this video go to the history.md and use the one path here right so i say hello world path and give the intent name what we created there hello world and give some utter message utter hello world okay save it then go to the domain right and copy this response maybe use domain go to the domain and as i discussed that new intent should be here so i have already given that the new intent have a word it, it might be it not there in your case so you have to put the hello world right and for the you give the utter name and text message This is a word response, right? Now let's save the code. Okay. So now we have to train the model, right? So for that, we go the command here and I explained last time. So this is my path where code is there and we should uh, uh, go to the virtual environment for the Conda virtual environment. So Conda Activate. If you have not created the Rasa environment, uh, you can use the, my previous video and make it. And this is not necessary for this demo. Even you cannot execute this command conda activate Rasa, it should work. Now, Rasa train. Whatever the changes we have done. Uh, so for any change in the model, we have to generate the model again, right? So let me start this. And uh, as I discussed that for the action, the difference between the utter and the action response in the utter you cannot do anything from your business logic response right suppose you have the hotel business and you want to connect the database connect the api and you want to response uh, the chatbot response that could not possible through the utter utter is only for the hello hi thank you the hard coded response you can give if you want to customize your response you have to uh, use the action or custom action implementation that we are going to see that so once we uh, this training is done, okay. Now this is done. Then we have to start our Rasha uh, shell to check our new intent. Does it work or not? Okay. So hope uh, it should work. And as I discussed, then we can uh, implement the second, uh, the same thing into the custom. Okay. So. So now we can go to the NLU. You now I can give any word, right? If I give any word, it will hit here. Then it will go the history, it will hit this utter help word, then go to the uh, domain. 
I should get this response. This is the hello world response. Okay, let me see uh, how it works. So I can give any word from this domain, right? Uh, this training data. No, let me. I'm waiting for that the prompt. Uh, that lot of things selling my machine. So. Okay, so give the word, this matching I'm giving, this word in here, right? I'm expecting that response, what I have given. So now you can see that uh, we have implemented our intent and working as our expectation, this is coming. Now the same thing I want to get the response from the action, right? So now that is not required here, remove it. Save it, go to the history. So one important thing is here for all the hard-coded response, utter response, that uh, keyword is the utter you have to use. And for the action, the, uh, that should be the prefix is the action. Okay, so now, Accent keyword is the important. So now save it. The third and most important thing we has been already provided the last has been already provided the accent py accent python file. So you go here and uncomment all the import information. So this import will require in our coding, and then copy this uh, the class. And we can use as a template for any new implementation. We can use this and the paste here and remove all those comment and give the your message say over anything here from my first action python code okay and save it and this is the action name, right? So this, ex you can give any action name. So this action name, action hero word, should match two places. One, let me copy that, so I should not confusion. Go to the first history, should be match here, or let me paste it here, should match here. And we have to register this action name in the domain.yml. So go to the domain and add one new paragraph actions okay and put that name here also third thing fourth thing what you have to do you have to go the endpoint yml and you have to uncomment this part because it will hook that the action server now the important thing is that now our logic is implemented in the action.yml so we have to start our action server also what we to do first go and stop it and we have to again train our model because we change in the training data and create another command prompt or terminal okay i'm keeping it here Okay, now here we have to, uh, as I say, that is optional for you. Okay, you have to go the same path, what path is there. So, where our code is there. Oh, chat about Rasa, right? And here our path is demo ID right here. The command is that Rasa 
when action so it will start your the action server so what we have done so far in action.yml we have given our logic and then we go to the endpoint dot yml enable the webhook then third we train the model fourth we start the uh, this uh, action server and now you can see that this is registered action server is registered with the action server keep it sight come in this uh, terminal and you have noticed that every time when you create the model that new model has been added here so if old model is not required then you can delete the old model to make the process fast so once it is done then um, we check now this time response should come from the python from the uh, custom action So you can see that is they are creating the new model based upon our data uh, training data right so you have to keep it open this python dot py python file no need to um, uh, create the model again just you have to stop the action server and they start it that's it no need to change the model i will show you that one also so now if you can see that 100% is done we will get the prompt then check our new action implementation not here here okay <clears throat> and then if you go here so you can give any similar kind of word for the input right so let me give and this time response should come from python file And see this response coming the Python file, right? And this action server is uh, started. Now, if you go and change something in the action file, so action.py, yeah, here you can give, uh, suppose if I add one any print statement for my debug. We just save it and this time no need to restart the um, turn the model just control c stop it and then again restart i didn't change anything in the model so now if you put the same word oh it is not started with when they start this action server Now you give that the same word. You get the response, and one uh, tweet statement should be also come here. I'm from the action figure file. This is for the comp uh, implementation of the action. In next video, I'm going to make the video on how to extract the entity and how you can use in the action file to give some more meaningful response from the chatbot. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.